Never trust thine enemy. Never trust thine enemy. And that's from Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. That's given all praise to the Most High, name of his only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole folks scattered abroad. It's going to just going to be a quick one in the spirit, man. All right. Um, I came across this. It says, don't use this vinegar. Gates weaseled his way into controlling what goes into Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar. Time to take organic off the label. And um, what inspired me to do this video was the fact that I actually have a, a, a bottle of this in my kitchen and I've had it for a couple years. OK, I had it for a couple years before the whole demic and everything. I had it for a very long time. And um, they said after which I'm going to play this video, but after uh, 2019, Gates got involved in it. OK, with Katy Perry and her husband. And they pretty much has have have compromised this organic apple cider, uh, apple cider vinegar. And it's spiritual because actually I was going to go, you know, go buy another one every now and then. I'll, I'll take a, I'll, I'll drink like a, 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 a cap full, you know, and I got, I got to the point where, where, I, where I can just about, you know, just take a swig of it and it has great health benefits for you, you know, and it's also good to clean, you know, your fruits and vegetables. Um, but I was actually just, just about to go to go get a bottle of this, you know, pretty soon as I saw the one that I have is already is running low and it's, and it's pretty expensive, you know, to get a bottle of one of these. I forgot exactly how much, like I said, I haven't gotten one in a while, but I had mine for some years. Well, now it's compromised, man. And this just goes to show you, you cannot trust your enemy and we got to get the hell up out of here, bro. We got to get the hell up out of here. This place must be destroyed with thermonuclear fire. And we pray that it happens sooner than later. We pray that it comes, you know, and every day we get closer and closer to the destruction of this place. So let's just play this video, man. It really gave me a headache, but I'm going to uh, play it anyways for edification's sake. Oh, how did I totally miss that this Bragg's apple cider vinegar was purchased by Katy Perry and her husband? And they are teamed up now with Bill Gates? So yeah, Katy Perry, Orlando Bloom, by Braggs back in 2019. So this happened. Now, what I'm about to show you next is actually the bad part, okay? This wasn't so bad, but who Katy Perry is doing business with, now y'all be the judge of this. So you got Katy Perry and her husband Orlando Bloom using Bill Gates A Peel apples to make Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Yeah, that's correct. You heard it correctly. Now, let me let me tell you about it. A Peel Bragg's. It's about the use of the monoglycerides and the digoglycerides. I might have butchered that. But these additives are byproducts of oil processing, including partially hydrogenated canola, canola and soybean oils, which contain artificial trans fats and dangerous food ingredients known to cause coronary heart disease and linked to 50,000 other fatal heart attacks a year. So yeah, that's what those egg peel stickers are doing to the apples and other fruits and veggies. And you can't wash it off. There's no way. There's no way you could wash it off. Um, unless you have the proper, the proper tools. And 99.999% of everyone that's watching this video, you will not know how to clean it off of your fruits and veggies. I promise you. But this is, this is quite the eyebrow razor. I already don't recommend drinking apple cider vinegar because it's very acidic for your body, but this is going to make Bragg's apple cider vinegar a million times more acidic. And some of y'all are going to still drink it, huh? Comment below. Let me know what you're doing. So there you go.
the proper you say, you know, the proper tools it. and you know, it's, mm-hmm. um, it, it is a good detoxer you know uh i i you know you know you, you don't drink much of it every now and then i would you know take a swig you know um it helps with a heartburn and, and, and a few other things you know so you can do your research on it you know it, it helps burn fat stuff like that um but now it ain't helping with nothing Okay, like I said, the one that, that that I had was before all this took place. So I probably would never be able to find an, another one like that again. Um, we showed you that this place is just through, man. This place, America must be destroyed, bro. And we got to pray every single day that it comes sooner or later. Let me bring this back, though. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 10. It says, never trust thine enemy for like his iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Because this man will come like, like you know, trying to be meek and humble and, you know, act like he, he, he your friend. You know, he, he has your best your, your best interest at heart. Especially um, kill snakes, man. Okay, this guy is a complete demon. All right. He's a complete demon. He feigns himself as some humanitarian. Which really, you know, he's a damn, uh, a, a damn evil scientist, man. It says, set him not by thee, lest when that when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Ne- neither let him sit at thy right hand. Don't put your trust in this in these people, man. You know, it says, lest he seek to take thy seat and at and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. You got to remember. OK, these people are, are, are trying to take your life. They're trying to take everything from you, you know, your your, your health, your well-being, you know, your your your, your uh, children, all of that, man. And then some it says, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come now nigh wild beast? So one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? Right. So you got to beware, you know, don't be simple. It says, for a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. And this is what this guy did, you know, when when, when that whole yab thing came out during the demic, he was all over TV and making all these speeches. Then people started dropping like flies and, then, and he was nowhere to be found for a couple of years. OK, in silence, you know, rubbing his hands together uh, and, you know, making that evil laugh. It says... Um, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, he imagined how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. And that's the spirit of Esau. Okay, that's the spirit of Esau. He will pretend that to have your best, um, your best interest at heart, but as soon as opportunity come to destroy you, he's going to take it. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first, though he pretend to help thee. Yet shall he undermine thee. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to undermine you. Because like, like, hey, that whole, that whole bottle still got organic on it, man. The bottle has not changed. But the, but, but, but the contents of the bottle has changed. Can you believe it? Totally wicked, man. We live in a very, very evil and satanic world. Okay. Let me grab this. Because the Lord, man, the Lord is beautiful, bro. And I just, you know, the reason why I inspired to do this video, because I was literally just thinking about. And we see stuff like this all day, every day. This is on, this, this is on uh, Twitter or X, from formerly known as Twitter. We see stuff like this all day, every day. But it was just spiritual because I was just literally thinking about it. If not last week, the week before, about going to go get a new bottle of that um, that, that that apple cider vinegar. I, I saw that, you know, it was going low. And I said, damn, I got to get another one. And now I, now I know not to get another one, you know. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse 11, let Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. So we're not ignorant of this man's voice. We know his plans and his schemes. OK, to bring mass depop. All right. We see how this man get down. All right. There's no it, it, there, there is no wonder, you know, why these things are happening. OK, let me grab this too. Because everything is defiled, man. We live in a world where everything is defiled. Everything we eat has been tampered with. Ezekiel chapter 4 verse 13. And the Lord, Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel, which are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians, 
eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, these heathens, where the eye will drive them. So we were driven into captivity amongst these heathens. They have power over us. Let me grab that. One of all things. We got to go to this man for the one of all things, man. Okay. And then he's giving you the things that you need, but he's putting things in it that, that, that you don't need. Deuteronomy 28, verse 47, because thou servest not the Lord, Yahweh, thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. Slokia. I'll bring that back. Therefore, shalt thou serve the Lord, Yahweh, thy enemies, which, the, which Yahweh have sent against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. And in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. And this man has destroyed us, man. You know, and now he wants to, you know, he's destroyed us mentally, you know, spiritually. Our people don't even know who the hell they are, don't know who, who their power is. But now he wants to physically destroy you off the face of the earth. Okay? Esau said, when the days of mourning for my father are, are at hand, I will slay my brother Jacob. So after his father Isaac died, his heart has been set on slaying Jacob, okay, which is you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians. And he wants to eradicate us off the face of the earth. And this man is very crafty. He'll go, he'll, he'll go, you know, great lengths to do such a thing. Okay. Let me see. Uh, let me grab this. Because it's only through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that, that we're still here. Okay. It's only through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that we are still here, man. Okay. And the Most High is only dealing with the children of Israel. All right. So in order to come back to me, you must be an Israelite. Most importantly, the elect of the nation of Israel. It says Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the Most High does not change. Okay. And because of that, we are not consumed. If the Lord did change and all of a sudden he loved everybody, then we would be consumed. Okay. We would be destroyed. We would be um, you know, done away with, you know, as a whole, as a whole people, man. Okay. <sighs> Let me go here. Okay, this Taco Bell introduces chicken nuggets for the first time. Come on, nobody want no fucking chicken nuggets from Taco Bell. You shouldn't be eating no damn Taco Bell, man. I remember back in the day, everybody knew that Taco Bell gave you the runs. You know, you think it don't now? Well, imagine those chicken niggas. Where, 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 those, where, where those chickens come from? If you've seen the way they package their beef, bro, we got to get the hell out of here. That's the whole point, man. That's the whole point. It ain't about uh, trying to be some great orator or, you know, holier than thou. No, it's about ultimately getting delivered the hell up out of here, man. At the end of the day, this place must be destroyed. We got to get the hell up out of here. Job chapter 5 verse 12, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Right. This man is getting cut down. OK. He thinks that he can uh, bring all these things to pass and, and destroy, the, you know, the Israelites altogether. But the Lord is only going to allow him, allow him to, to destroy the two thirds. And he's going to deliver his elect. It says Psalms chapter 10 verse um, 1. It says, why standest thou afar off, O Yahweh? Why hidest thyself in the times of in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, and bless blesseth the covetous whom Yahweh abhorreth. And like you got Katy Perry, you know, what the fuck she got to do with some damn apples and some apple cider vinegar? I believe she um. It was either her or Taylor Swift. I forgot Kanye said some shit about one of their ass got a got you know their own um one of those camera companies. I forgot what it was called. But he was like, "What the hell does she?" He's like, he was like, "I like such and such, but what the hell they they know about some, you know?" But it shows you that these that that that, that, that these people that they're all they're all joined hand in hand. They're all Freemasons. They're all devils. It says the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high. The most high is not in all his thoughts. Right. So this man is just completely wicked. He, 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 he is a devil. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above 
out of his sight for all his enemies. He puffed at them. He hath said in his heart, mine, I shall not be moved for I shall never be in adversity. And that's what Esau thinks that he's never going to be taken out of power. I think he's going to live forever, poisoning the world forever. Did not the Lord say he will destroy them that destroy the earth? It says, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. And that's this guy, Kale Snakes. This guy's mouth is full of cursing, deceit, and fraud, man. He'll tell you a bunch of bullshit, you know. It says, under his tongue is mischief and vanity. And that's, this is, this is the devil, man. It says, he sitteth in the lurking places of villages. And, and what happened? He went over, they, they went over there to, um, to Africa. And started experimenting on those damn um, Hamites and those Jakes. Okay, and they do it over here in the, in, in, in the hood. And they came out with that, yeah, they said, oh, yeah, we need all the blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians in that order to line up first. It says, he sitteth in, in the lurking places of the villages, in the secret places, doth he murder, doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are pro privately set against the poor, which are the Israelites. Their eyes are set against us. Okay. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to cr to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. He croucheth and humbleth himself, but the poor may fall, that the poor may fall by his strong ones, right? And that's what this man does, man. Okay. And this whole chapter is good, but I'll go ahead and close out. I ain't gonna make this too long. I'm going to end for this right here. Let's go to it. Uh, this is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart. So you got to get part out of this place and it starts spiritually. First and foremost, man, get your mind out of out of this place. Come back to the spirit of your shine. Wake up to who you truly are. It says, for this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Okay, so this place is going to destroy you even with a sore destruction. That's what they're trying to do here. And as days go on, it gets worse and worse and worse. There's a lot of things that's being done behind the scenes that um, is not put on front street. They're not telling you about it. You know, a lot of things have changed. I remember back when I was younger, you know, the food. I remember, I remember when, when they implemented the GMOs, man. You know? And before that, the food was different. You know, if you had like a, a a bag of potato chips, the chips was very, you know, if you chewed on the chips, it was, um, it would like almost break in your mouth before you even put your teeth on them. Damn there, man. You know, it was a lot softer. Now, you chew on a bag of potato chips, man, and and, and the shit getting stuck in your teeth, it, it hurts your, 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 your teeth. You know, so the food is not food anymore, Okay. Not saying that potato chips is food, but you get what I'm saying. Things have changed. And I remember vividly when things changed. I remember, you know, things don't taste the same anymore as it did when you were younger. Why? Because they, they're putting all type of additives and poisons in, in, into the food now, man. You know, we used to eat cereal. And now it has fucking Roundup in it. Okay. We got to get the hell up out of here, bro. And a lot of these things, that a lot of these things, which, hey, I don't even eat cereal no more. I try to ref refrain from any type of type of chips or anything like certain things that you just can't eat anymore. And also, too, you got to be mindful because now, you know, a, say you have children, you can't feed your children the same thing that you, that, uh, that you used to eat growing up. OK, you can't feed them the same thing, man. It's not it's, it's not the same food. All right. It's not the same food. OK, if you can even call it food. So with that being said, I'm going to say Shalom. Kwame Shirala Ababa. Gracious.